Hi, I'm Ken Shorley. I'm a percussionist from Canada. On this video, I'd like to share with you a split hand technique for the frame drum. This is inspired by traditional South Indian drumming, specifically from the Murdangam. The sequence I'm playing in the clip right now is a six pulse repeating pattern, Tari Kita Taka. So on this video, I'll show you this basic pattern in slow, medium, and fast speeds. And I'll also do two variations on the basic pattern. I would like to dedicate this video to my teacher, the great South Indian percussionist, Professor Trichy Shankaran. Here's the basic six pulse Tari Kitataka pattern. You can see the split hand right here. It happens in the middle of the pattern. So the sequence starts with the dum on the thumb here. One, top hand, two, you do pa, three, split hand, four, another ka, and another pa. A little faster. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or ta, ri, ki, ta, ta, ka, ta. Here's the basic tarikitataka pattern in three speeds. You'll hear the slow pattern four times, medium speed or twice as fast, eight times, and then twice again, or four times as fast as the slow, 16 times, then it will go back to medium and then to slow. So slow, medium, fast, medium, and slow. Here's the basic tarikitataka sequence again, slightly more close up. You'll hear the slow speed twice, medium speed four times, fast speed eight times, then back to medium four times, and slow twice. Here's variation one on the basic tarikitataka sequence. It's almost exactly the same except the fifth stroke in the pattern, tarikitata. Rather than playing with a top hand, playing a ka with the ring finger, you reach down and do a bouncing stroke with the middle finger. At the same time, you can also dampen the head with your dominant hand, and this creates the effect. It's almost like an overtone. Again, you'll hear the sequence in slow, medium, fast, medium, and slow speeds.
For variation two, the only difference is that rather than playing ka with the top hand, you replace that with snapping strokes. So you're snapping the ring finger against the head of the drum. This creates a nice cross rhythm, especially when you play the sequence fast. Otherwise, the pattern is exactly the same as the basic. Here's another look at the variations from a different angle. In this clip, I'll play the basic pattern twice, variation one twice, and variation two twice, and then I'll loop that. You'll notice in variation one, I use the altered stroke with the middle finger twice instead of once. So it's ta ri ta 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 ri ta ta 